Hello crafty friends, I'm Lien from Studio Kato and I'm so happy you're joining me again today for another video. Today's coloring technique is by far the easiest coloring technique ever and that is using layering stencils that coordinate with the stamps you are using. And today the product suite I am using is the Brighter Days Stamp Stencil and Die Set by Pinkfresh Studio. Now I call it a set but all of these products are available se separately. So if you just want the stamp, just get the stamp. If you just want the stencils, you can just get the stencils. You absolutely don't need all of these products to make a card with. I am stamping this stamp in Versafine Onyx Black onto Claire Fontaine DCP 250 GSM cardstock. I will be embossing this even though that's not ideal because heat setting the embossing powder will not just warp your paper. Essentially what you're doing is shrinking your paper in a couple of different places and that causes warping. So the stencils are not going to line up perfectly with the stamped images and neither is the die but i think it worked out really well for this one but usually when you emboss things aren't going to line up as they are meant to so a better option for example if you want to do gold heat embossing i just did some clear gloss heat embossing over that black ink if you want a gold line I highly recommend you check out the hot foil, foil plate that is also part of this product suite. So you uh, hot foil doesn't shrink your paper the same way that um, heat embossing will. Now I am lining up this first stencil layer and I am taping everything very well in place with some masking tape and I am masking off two of the florals with just some post-it notes. I thought that was easier and less likely to damage my paper than this very cheap and very sticky masking tape. But you can see these stencils line up pretty well, uh, way better than I expected. And I am only going to color three florals. I didn't have time to color all the images, even though this is very quickly, this was a very rushed card. <laughs> I, uh, I'm i just coloring in these three florals, but the whole point of this set of products by Pinkfresh Studio is to make it very easy to color all of these images at once. So I highly recommend you do that. Just take that little extra time. I really didn't have the time for it, but even the die cuts all of the pieces all at once. So that's a really quick way to save some time and make uh, images for multiple cards. Now I am using very bright colors today. I am sticking with pink, orange, and teal. I will list all of the inks I used in the description below. I will try to link to them as much as possible. And where possible, I am going to start using affiliate links. Um, so you know where to get the products. And if you buy them through those links, that will actually give me a small commission. So that would be really lovely if you could purchase any products through those links. It's at no extra cost to you, but it would help me out a bunch. Now I'm using the second stencil layer and I am just using darker colors of the same ink cube families by Pinkfresh Studio. That's what I love so much about these inks by Pinkfresh Studio. They are organized in uh, just color families with four colors or four shades of each color family. And they go from light to dark, so it makes it really easy to do layering stamping or layering stenciling like this. The third stencil layer for the flowers is just that little flower center, and I'm doing that in yellow. I often do those in yellow or brown because that's just what I think of when I think of a flower center. <laughs> Now, because my florals are all going to be very, very bright, almost neon, uh, I'm also going to use some neon green leaves as well, I figured I better keep the background super subtle. And the subtlest background I can always think of is just a stitched background panel. And this is the Sparkling Diamonds background panel die by Pinkfresh Studio. I love this die. I even stitched it once. Uh, I just poked holes throughout all the stitched detail and actually stitched it <laughs> with some embroidery floss. That was really fun to do, really relaxing, and it makes for a wonderful background. Once that's glued in place, I am going to use these frames, also by Pinkfresh Studio. These are the stitched 
rectangle scalloped frames it's a long name i will list it and link it in the description below um, i am layering those up three layers of thick white cardstock and one layer of matte silver cardstock i really love the silver cardstock i recently discovered it i will link it below as well that's not going to be an affiliate link but i find it so hard to find these types of specialty cardstock in europe at a good price point and i'm very happy that i found this silver cardstock and there's gold as well um, it's an Amazon link you can definitely purchase it through there if you're in the US there's definitely other options available but I find it in Europe it's a little bit harder to find this th stuff I glued that frame on my card and I am propping the florals up on some foam tape over the frame or not on the frame <laughs> I think the pink flower is adhered next to the frame so it sits a little lower than the other flowers but overall this card is very thick and very dimensional <laughs> i'm just figuring out where to place these leaves these are the curvy leaves also you guessed it by pink fresh studio i die cut all of the dies in that set just once and that gives me plenty of leaves to play around with i am going to pop out some of those center pieces just randomly they didn't all pop out naturally so <laughs> I like to just leave some of those in and that gives it a little bit more interest, I think. I'm gluing them down with Barely Art Precision Craft glue and that was a bad choice on my part. <laughs> you definitely need something stronger or something that dries quicker if you are adhering these down onto that frame because that frame is cut from it's not glossy cardstock but it is a slick surface and barely art precision craft glue does not deal with that at all <laughs> so this was a struggle to keep them adhered down but in the end i managed it the sentiment is one i prepared before and it's the perfect sentiments stamp and die set by pink fresh studio just white heat embossed on black cardstock it's one more of those uh, stamp sets that stamps 10 sentiments all at once and then the coordinating die cuts them out all at once as well for my embellishments i am using silver embellishments but these are shiny and i thought that was a great contrast to the silver matte cardstock of the frame these are by pretty pink posh yes that's what they are <laughs> and these are the Oh, I'm so bad with product names. I think these are the silver gems, just silver metallic gems. Again, they will be listed in the description below. Uh, for my matching envelope, I am just keeping things simple. I found a teal cardstock that I thought fit my flower really well. And I thought the pattern, which is also somehow diamond shaped, fit my background really well. So I thought that was a good paper to use for this envelope. I folded an A2 size car uh, envelope with the We Are Memory Keepers punch board and that's it. That is all for today's project. I hope you like it. I definitely do. I am a sucker for bright colors on a simple white background and I really love these products. Now these are all available at Seize the Stamp which you can use an affiliate code for. I don't have affiliate links for that but I will leave the code in the description below as well. I think it's just um, STS Lean 10. I think you get 10% off your purchase and I get also a 10% commission. Definitely also check out the color challenge over at the Seize the Stamp blog. I will link that below as well because you can win a gift card to the shop. And I mean, who doesn't want a shopping spree? Hope you like this video. Hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.